President Biden and House Speaker Kevin McCarthy have reached a preliminary agreement to resolve the long-standing deadlock over raising the debt ceiling, thus averting a potential default by the United States. Multiple reports indicate that if enacted, the deal would increase the nation's borrowing limit for two years, effectively removing the contentious issue of America's creditworthiness from the immediate political agenda until after the next presidential election. In addition to raising the debt ceiling, the proposed pact includes an implementation of what Speaker McCarthy has described as historic spending limits. These limits, expected to be in effect for the same two-year period, aim to address concerns about fiscal responsibility. The announcement comes at a critical juncture, just days before the US government is projected to exhaust its funds to meet its financial obligations. Treasury Secretary Janet Yellen has warned that this situation could arise as early as June 5. The final details of the agreement were ironed out during two phone conversations between President Biden and Speaker McCarthy on Saturday. McCarthy stated, We still have a lot of work to do, but I believe this is an agreement in principle that is worthy of the American people. President Biden echoed this sentiment in a statement, acknowledging that the agreement represents a compromise where not everyone's demands will be fully met. He emphasized the significance of reducing spending while safeguarding essential programs for the American workforce and promoting economic growth. Nonetheless, the road ahead remains challenging, as both leaders must now navigate the intricate task of garnering support for the deal from skeptical lawmakers across party lines. Over the past few weeks, Reservations have been evident among members of both the left and the right, necessitating a concerted effort to sell the agreement within their respective caucuses. Speaker McCarthy provided limited details to reporters on Saturday, indicating his intention to consult with fellow Republican members before divulging further specifics. President Biden also engaged in discussions with Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer DNY, and House Minority Leader Hakeem Jeffries DNY who will play pivotal roles in rallying Democratic support in the coming days. Maya McGinnis of the Committee for a Responsible Federal Budget, in a statement on Saturday night, highlighted the potential significance of the agreement. Stating that if passed, it would be the first major budget agreement aimed at deficit reduction in nearly 12 years. This would serve as a crucial signal that Washington is genuinely committed to addressing the mounting national debt. One contentious issue addressed in the deal, according to Speaker McCarthy, is the implementation of work requirements as a condition for accessing certain government programs. This matter has been a highly sensitive topic for both parties and was a sticking point until the final hours of negotiation. Liberal Democrats have strongly opposed increased requirements, arguing that they would have minimal impact on the deficit while inflicting unnecessary hardship on the most vulnerable Americans. Conversely, conservative Republicans have pushed for more significant spending cuts than those reportedly agreed upon in the final deal. Consequently, some of Speaker McCarthy's most conservative members are unlikely to support the bipartisan proposal in the days ahead. Many specific details of the agreement are yet to be revealed. Speaker McCarthy acknowledged that portions of the bill are yet to be written but assured the public that the complete bill would be published tomorrow. Preceding a probable vote in the House of Representatives on Wednesday. President Biden hailed the agreement as good news for the American people, as it averts the potentially catastrophic consequences of a default. He underscored the economic risks associated with a default, including the recessionary impact, devastation of retirement accounts, and loss of millions of jobs. In summary, President Biden and Speaker McCarthy have tentatively reached an agreement to raise the debt ceiling, which, if enacted, would provide a two-year extension while simultaneously implementing spending limits. The deal is a result of compromise and is intended to reduce spending while safeguarding critical programs, 